What are you doing here? Hi, Kevin. It's nice to see you too. Your sister told me you would be here. Listen, we need to talk. Can I come in? Please don't do this. I know why you're here. This is a waste of time. No, it's too important. I've waited three months to talk to you. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm coming in. Cassie, this is pointless. I know I left you at a bad time, but you know exactly why I did it. I tried forgetting, but I just don't think I have what it takes yet. I, I can't come home. I'm sorry. Do you think that I care about your apologies? I came here because I'm worried about you. And because I want you to come home. It's been two months since Jake was born, and he still hasn't met his father. How can I just ignore what happened that day? How can I just live with something like that? Kevin, I understand why you feel this way. But you need to accept the fact that you did what you had to do. He was still a small kid. I just added another victim to that terrible shooting, another dead child. How could I bring another child into this world after taking one out of it? What you did was courageous. And there would have been so many more victims if not for you. That's why you will make a wonderful parent. You're a hero. And you will raise our child to be kinder and more considerate than that monster full of resent and anger. I still have nightmares and memories of everything I saw. Don't tell me I'm not trying. I want to come home. I just don't think I have what it takes yet. I, I just need some more time. Living here and... Living here and drinking your feelings away is not going to fix anything. I can't just... Come home with us, please. I can't. Don't you remember how life was before that day? How we used to talk about how we would raise our child together? The longer you wait, the harder it will be for both of us. I'm just not... Kevin! Your son, Jake, he needs you! I remember how you always told me about your childhood. And how your father left you when you were five. This has nothing to do with my dad. Don't you remember how difficult it was for your mother and how you felt so abandoned? Don't, you don't get it! I can't do this. It's just not possible for me right now. You don't understand. Just go. But Please, you're only making this harder! Kevin. Hey. I think you forgot this. He has your eyes. You'll see when he wakes up. We made one cute kid. Wait until he's waking you up at 3 a.m. So, 
What have you been doing the past few months? Have you been trying to work again? <laughs> well, I won't be going back to the police force anytime soon. Um, I haven't really been doing much for the past few months. The police department sent me to therapy a few times. Okay, and how was that? Maybe, maybe you should keep going. Total waste of time. Forget about it. Okay, you know, we don't, we don't have to make any decisions about that right now. Let's just be a family again. That's all that matters. I never should have left you and Jake. I love you. You know that, right? Yes, I know that. And I love you too. And I am proud of you. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Drop it now, I don't want to have to shoot you. Please, drop your damn weapon. <laughs> 